Hi, my name is Paul Jun, and for today's Hippo Short, we're going to talk about central retinal artery occlusion, or CRAO, and the ocular massage. Now, CRAO classically presents as acute, monocular, painless vision loss, and it typically happens in patients who are about 60 years of age or older, and they have risk factors for or have atherosclerotic disease, as the most common cause for CRAO is carotid artery atherosclerosis or carotid artery stenosis, and the second most common cause being cardioembolic sources. Now, if you did a fundoscopic exam on this patient, then you'll see here that on the left is the affected eye with CRAO compared to the opposite eye, which has a normal fundoscopic appearance. And you may see this classic visual stimulus of the cherry red spot macula, which is prominent because the surrounding retina is pale from the ischemia. Now, this is an ocular emergency because from the onset of occlusion, you have about 100 minutes before you have irreversible retinal damage. So you need to consult your ophthalmologist immediately. In the interim, there are some uh, interventions such as intraocular hypotensive agents like acetazolamide or the ocular massage that you can use. However, none of these have been proven in studies to be significantly beneficial. Regardless, how do you do the ocular massage? Well, you take a finger over a closed eye and the affected eye, and you apply firm, direct pressure for 5 to 15 seconds, then suddenly release and repeat that procedure over and over again for several minutes. There's another described technique where you actually take the finger over a closed eyelid and you indent the sclera a few millimeters and release two or three times per second for over an hour. And the whole point and theory behind this is that the sudden gradients in the intraocular pressure from this external pressure is actually causing reflexive arteriolar dilation as well as increased blood flow through the arteries that can actually dislodge the clot, hopefully further distally or break it up. And now the other thing to remember is that if you have a patient with ocular surgery, you probably should not be using the ocular massage and consult with the ophthalmologist first. And that wraps it up for this Hippo Short. My name is Paul Jun. If you want more information on this topic, go check out hippoeducation.com, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs>